Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard and I welcome you all to our free learning series on Azure Fundamentals. In this video today, we will talk about Azure Network Pairing, Azure VPN Gateway and in the subsequent episode, we will cover the related topics Azure DNS and Azure Express Route. And please note, this is our section 2.2.5, which is the subset of the section 2, holding 35 to 40% in AZ900 exam. And you can download the free PDF file with the section by section marking, completely synced with our videos and also Microsoft AZ900 or Azure Fundamental exam course. Link for the free PDF file is available in the description box. And before we move ahead, let's have a quick recap. In the last episode, we already discussed about virtual networking, including the purpose of Azure Virtual Networks and also we discussed Azure Virtual Subnets. So in case you missed the last episode, please go ahead and watch the same after this video. All the links for the previous parts are shared in the description box. And friends, I'm sure that you will watch the previous episodes to understand virtual network and subnet. But for those who are joining us for the first time today, let me give a quick introduction to the Azure VNet or Azure Virtual Network and the subnets so that all the upcoming concepts bind together. So let's first quickly talk about Azure Virtual Network, which is a representation of your own network, but in the cloud. And just so you understand, it is a network in cloud. So that's why it is called virtual. And of course, it's a network. That's why virtual network. Now friends, Azure Virtual Network is a fundamental building block of your private network in Microsoft Azure. A virtual network enables many types of Azure resources such as Azure Virtual Machines to securely communicate with each other, the internet and on-premises networks. Now coming to the Azure subnets, well subnet means sub network. So basically you divide a virtual network into subnets or configure routing tables and network security groups to a subnet. And you can also say a subnet is a range of IP addresses in the virtual network. You can divide a virtual network into multiple subnets or multiple subnetworks for your organization and security. This also provides easy maintainability of your entire network. And each NIC or network interface card in a virtual machine is connected to one subnet in one virtual network. Now let's focus on Azure VNet pairing. So Azure VNet pairing enables you to seamlessly connect to the Azure virtual networks. And once you have paired multiple Azure virtual networks, the VNet appears as one for the connectivity purposes. And friends, the traffic between the virtual machines in the virtual networks is routed through the Microsoft Backbone infrastructure. And you may think it as much like the traffic that is routed between the virtual networks within the same virtual network through the private IP addresses only. And furthermore, please note, no public internet is involved. And lastly, very important point to note is that you can pair virtual networks across Azure regions. Now friends, Azure supports following two type of pairings. The first one is Azure Network Pairing and this one is for connecting virtual networks within the same Azure region. And the second type is Global Virtual Network Pairing and this one is used to connect virtual networks across Azure regions. So the first type, this one here, this is used to connect virtual network within the same region and this one here is used to connect virtual networks across Azure regions. So please note this difference very clearly in your minds. Now let's strengthen our understanding even further on VNet pairing using Microsoft documentation. And now I am on the Microsoft documentation talking about virtual network pairing. Here you can see it tells you that virtual network pairing enables you to seamlessly connect two or more virtual networks in Microsoft Azure. The virtual networks appears as one for the connectivity purposes and the traffic between the virtual machines in peer virtual networks uses Microsoft Backbone infrastructure. And further the document tells you there are two types of pairing. The first one is virtual network pairing and the second one is global virtual network pairing. And we just read the differences between the both in our presentation. Moving on, this documentation also gives you the benefit of using virtual network pairing whether local or global include a low latency, high bandwidth connection between the resources in different virtual networks. And then it also gives you the ability for the resources in one virtual network to communicate with the resources in different virtual network. 
Similarly, we have the ability to transfer the data between virtual networks, the ability to peer virtual networks and also the ability to peer our virtual network created through resource manager to one created through classic deployment model. And similarly, my friends, on this documentation, you can read a lot about connectivity. Then you have also resized the address space of the virtual networks that are paired. One thing I want to just show you very quickly where you can read more and understand virtual networks. And that is this one. It says gateway and on-premises connectivity. So please read this segment in this documentation. Here you can also observe some documentation in terms of an image that will really help you grasp the concept of VNet pairing you will also understand that both virtual network pairing and global network pairing support gateway transit so a lot of good information is given in this documentation please go ahead the link for all these documentation will be available in the description box but one more thing i want to show you this documentation here and this is a tutorial where you can learn how to connect virtual networks with virtual network pairing using azure portal it's a detailed exercise step-by-step -step process on how you can create your virtual network connect to virtual networks with a virtual network pairing you can also learn how to deploy a virtual machine in each virtual network and communication between virtual machines so entire exercise is given step-by-step -step process really elaborated very well structured i have read this documentation did some practicals and this gave me a real good concept and understanding on vnet pairing okay so now you understand what is azure virtual network pairing and you also understand what are the two types of network pairing that azure supports now let's talk about the second topic for the day and that is vpn gateway so friends a vpn gateway is a specific type of virtual network gateway that is used to send traffic between an Azure virtual network and an on-premises location over the public internet. And please note the very important keywords here. Virtual network gateway is used to send the traffic between Azure virtual network and on-premises. And how this communication is achieved? Well, it is achieved over the public internet. Now, in case you are thinking, what is VNet gateway? Here is a quick definition. So friends, a VNet gateway is definitely a type of virtual network gateway. A virtual network gateway, what is it? It is composed of two or more Azure managed virtual machines that are automatically configured and deployed to a specific subnet that you create and it is called the gateway subnet. And please note that the gateway subnet contains routing tables and run specific gateway services. And I already mentioned a VPN gateway is a type of virtual network gateway. And you can use a VPN gateway to send traffic between virtual networks. Each virtual network can have only one VPN gateway. Now coming back to the VPN gateway concept, the second point is that you can also use VPN gateway to send encrypted traffic between Azure networks over the Microsoft network. Now let's support our understanding on VPN gateway with Microsoft documentation. And this is one documentation that you will need to get started on VPN Gateway. It will strengthen your understanding even further. It says that Azure VPN Gateway is a service that uses specific type of virtual network gateway. We just understood what is virtual network gateway to send the encrypted traffic between an Azure virtual network and on-premises location over the public internet. And further, as you sail along the documentation, you will learn about the VPN gateway and also some other concepts such as how to configure VPN gateway, what are the connectivity aspects, then you will also learn what is planning table. Although it's not really connected to the AZ900 exam, but still it completes the overall understanding of VPN gateway. So please go ahead, read these documentations and take your understanding on Microsoft Azure to the next level. So a quick summary for today. Today we understood the concept of VNet pairing and VPN gateway. We talked about why both of these are needed, how can they help and quickly touched upon the types of VNet pairing. In the next episode, I will present the concepts of Azure DNS and Express Route. I hope you liked today's video. If yes, why not show it by hitting the like button? Please do that. It just takes a moment for you, but surely gives us feedback if you're liking the video or not. So
सो लाइक इट सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू हेड टूडे एंड ऑल्सो शेयर द वीडियो विद योर फैमिली फ्रेंड्स ऑफिस को लीग एंड वी वुड लाइक टू हेयर योर शाउट आउट ऑन सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म एंड यू कैन यूज आवर यूट्यूब हैंडल एट द रेट द टेक ब्लैक बोर्ड डॉट कॉम दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे आई विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन स्टे फिट कीप लर्निंग एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग